Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, welcome to lecture 48. So, we have been discussing about the general perturbation theory. So, in that context, we got the basic equation. Okay. So, for this basic equation, uh, it is shown here what we have de derived in the last lecture. So, we name this as equation 1. Now, we let us write u as minus as we have written in the uh, central force motion or the two body problem everywhere, we define u as g times m 1 plus uh, before this we do one more exercise. We simplify or we write in the uh, write this equation in a uh, more generalized form so that we get rid of some of the subscripts. So, dropping the or removing the or say the removing the subscripts getting rid of rid of the subscript. subscript 1 we get this equation as r i double dot. So, that means we are considering m 1 to be m we are replacing it by a small m or uh, maybe we can write it as capital M. So, we will replace this by capital M. So, this then that case gets reduced to g times m plus m i and one we are dropping out to indicate that this is from the like here in the case of this is the sun and then there is another planet and this planet is being perturbed by another planet. So, th this mass is m and uh, the other mass we will consider this as a small m while this will be perturbed by other masses which will be represented by m j this will not change. So, m i we will replace by small m okay, because there is no summation over i here. So, it is easy to get rid of that symbol also. So, let us remove this at this stage itself okay. and then the corresponding this distance then becomes r. So, distance from m 1 th this is your m 1 and this is your m i okay. and this distance was r 1 i. So, this we are just writing as r. So, if we do that so this subscript also we will get rid of and then the equation looks little simpler to work with. And on the right hand side in the bracket then we will have j equal to 2 to n ok and obviously here j not equal to i which already we have dropped from this place ok. And then this gets reduced to r j divided by r j whole cube minus 1 we are dropping out. So, only j remains there ok. So, there is a difference now uh, ok. For the clarification let us keep for the time being we should keep, keep it there ok. Later on we will remove it r i j and uh, r j by r j cube.
now looking at this term if we write here u equal to minus g and moreover there is a term here r this term has to be written here in this place for that reason let us retain this part also all right it's okay now with this only the one we are uh, we have dropped out so with this notation if we define u equal to this quantity so we can see that del u will be do by do x i cap plus j cap do by do by and uh, u we are defining as here uh, this is a scalar quantity so g m g times m plus m i divided by r i so we take the first quantity do by do x so this quantity can be written as r i square with a minus sign do r i divided by do x in r i if we define in terms of x square y square z square so taking its a derivative we see that do r i by this is x by r i and therefore this gets reduced to minus g times m plus m i divided by r q times x same way do y do y this quantity can be written at minus g u we have defined with the minus sign here so u this minus sign also we should include here in this place okay this minus sign will appear here so that minus minus that will make it plus and this will make it plus this is minus g same way the other terms we have to work out so this is uh, minus gm plus mi by ri this will get plus gm plus mi divided by ri cube times y if we insert all these results here in this place so the then we get del u as i cap
आर आई क्यू टाइम सिक्स प्लस जे कैप आर आई क्यू टाइम्स वाई एंड प्लस के कैप जेड we write like this take in common the g times m plus m i divided by r i q term and this quantity is nothing but we have written earlier as r this is your r is x i cap plus वाई जे कैप प्लस जेड के कैप एंड एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इफ यू टेक द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस सो यू गेट इट लाइक दिस दिस इज जेड स्क्वायर सो दिस इज डेल यू एंड देर फोर दिस इज इक्वेशन टू सो देर फोर इफ इक्वेशन टू विल गेट रेड्यूस्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ this particular derivation we have done so equation 2 can be written as so what we do this quantity already we have got this is del u and then it comes with a negative sign so this is our del u okay so minus del u and then the other term is there so that term also we can reduce in the if this is the term due to gravitation we will always be able to reduce in terms of the um, using the del operator so the other term is j equal to 2 to n j not equal to i n j g and this also we need to reduce to get into the potential format see uh, the reality is that uh, there are certain forces the conservative forces you can reduce them in terms of the potential function but if uh, non conservative forces are there present there just like say the uh, aerodynamic drag while the satellite is going in the orbit around the earth so aerodynamic is present in the low earth orbit aerodynamic drag is present so that drag cannot be represented in terms of potential function so aerodynamic drag cannot be represented in terms of potential function so whenever it's possible uh, and generally in the case of the uh, gravitational forces will be able to reduce the terms in terms of potential function but uh, the non conservative forces wherever involved so they cannot be reduced in terms of the potential function okay so next we reduce this term why we are doing this because it's a useful in working out the mathematics related to general perturbation theory so for considering this term 
let us write here a perturbation And now let us write R equal to Okay, this is self evident. So, if I have to take, if I take this as 1 by operate on 1 by R i j this del operator. So, the same way as we have done earlier, this will be i cap dou by dou x. and uh, plus j cap dou by dou y plus k cap dou z times 1 by r i j and operating on this that gives you minus 1 by r i j square times Okay, so this can be taken common for all of them, all the terms dou x by dou y dou x, dou y dou y, dou y dou z. So, this will come as common and rest of the terms I have to treat it here. So, rest of the term will be like this dou r i j divided by dou x i cap plus j cap And from here immediately we can see two times do R i j by do x and we take derivative with respect to the i term. Okay, if we do this, then this gets reduced to uh, here we will have one more term r i j times 2 okay, 
times 2 times x j minus x i and if we are differentiating with respect to x i term. So, this will be with minus 1. So, that gives you from here immediately we can see that this gets reduced to minus x j minus x i divided by r i j. And therefore, the term here can be reduced in the format minus 1 by r i j square and other terms taking all these terms here in this place. So, r i j will go as common and so therefore, we make this as q okay. and rest other terms we take from this place this minus sign and this minus sign that will make it plus. So, we put a plus sign here in this place. Okay. So, this gets reduced in the format x j uh, so, finally, this term will look like uh, r i j already we have taken common here in this place. So, this term is going to look like x j minus x i times i cap plus y j minus y i times j cap plus z j minus z i times k cap. So, with that this is nothing but your r i j. Okay. So, this comes with a plus sign. And if we sum over all of them, so this, this is for, for your uh, del operator only over you have done it for uh, differentiated with respect to i not with respect to the j. Okay. So, this operator then we can write this as summation j equal to 2 Okay, we'll, we go on the next page and write there. Okay, so, for one term we have worked out, the another term we will be looking into. So, the next term is uh, we want to look into r i dot r j divided by r j whole cube. dot r j so here we have uh, as earlier these three terms are present so we treat the first one and we differentiate with respect to x i y i and z i. Okay, so, uh, now uh, as we see here in this place we have uh, the i is present here and j is present here and we are differentiating with respect to i. 
So, accordingly we have to take care of the here we need to put a cube this is R j cube. Okay. So, in the definition of the R remember this is the definition of the R we are just now writing and I will modify it little bit with the sign once we get the final result. So, here uh, R j cube now looking into this part do this is dou by dou x i and R i is your x i times i cap plus y i times j cap times z i times k cap dot R j divided by R j cube and once we differentiate this. So, we get this as i cap dot r j and as we see the upper quantity is the scalar quantity. So, upper one will get reduced to x j because r j is again it is a function of x j times i cap y j times j cap z j times k cap. So, this is x j by r j cube. Okay. And here this is dot product. So, therefore, your the terms terms which are written as terms here r i dot r j divided by r j cube this can be written in terms of all these quantities the x j times i cap by r j cube plus y j times j cap times r j cube r j cube and what this quantity is see this is simply r j by r j cube. Now, we can combine the results together. So, the therefore, the r we have defined as j equal to 2 to n j not equal to i uh, j not equal to i g times m j g times m j times 1 by r i j minus r i dot r j divided by r j cube so del r then gives me and using the previous results del 1 by r i j we have written as del 1 by r i j this quantity ultimately we have got is like this. So, r i j divided by r i j whole cube. So, this is the this quantity then gets reduced to and 
and minus now looking into this quantity remember we have differentiated with respect to xi because you are considering the its particle if we go back we are discussing about the its particle see it will soon clear why why we have done with respect to y so this term already we have taken care of next we have this term where no minus sign is appearing okay so therefore whatever we have got here in this place see directly applies del operating on this term it is giving me rj by rj whole cube thus we have del r equal to summation j equal to 2 j not equal to y to n and this comes with a plus sign here okay while for the first term uh, okay not this one here we have got with a minus sign so what this can be this can be reduced to ri double dot this equal to minus del u plus del r okay but it does not look good this way so what we would like that this all this sign also becomes minus sign and then what we need to do so that this gets a minus sign okay so for that suppose this r we define with a uh, if we put a minus sign here in this place so what will happen so with this then uh, minus sign stays outside and the whole thing goes there it remains like this here then you have a uh, r you are operating on this on the before the r you have put a minus sign and then you are differentiating so del r this will come with a minus sign okay and therefore this minus sign which is appearing here okay if we take it here on this side so then you will get a plus sign in this place and then going back here in the original equation okay this part already we have done so this part already we have written there and this part this plus then can be reduced with a minus del r sign 
okay so if we reduce it with a minus del r sign so we have to write it like this so in that case this gets reduced to minus del u plus r so r i double dot this equal to minus del u plus r where the del operator has been defined as do y do x i times i cap j cap and do y do z i times k cap this is the way we have defined so ultimately we wanted to express the whole system in this format which we have got and for that we required to modify the equation by putting a minus sign here in this place okay and with this introduction the whole thing we have got into the right way so here then we have ultimately modified the things in all the places and finally this minus sign we carried on the left hand side so as a conclusion what we are getting here that ri double dot this equal to minus del u plus r or either simply we can write as minus del u minus del r so this is your normal ri double dot plus del u this is a normal two body term while on the right hand side you get the perturbation term so this equation we were looking for now we are ready to uh, dip into the uh, perturbation theory so next in the next class we will start with the method of parameter variation method of variation so we need to be particular about writing this term this is r i dot r r j dot by r j q here this is not q q is not present on this but q is present here because we are differentiating with respect to like do y do x i do y do y i and do y do z i so with this basic introduction i will stop and uh, the next time we uh, start with uh, we will, i will take one example and uh, then i will show you what does mean by the parameter variation method okay and uh, that will illustrate uh, that will uh, basically present a uh, way of looking for for solving this uh, equation which we have written right in the beginning how to solve this problem this question so uh, for the time being thank you very much and we'll again meet in the next class